one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to Lloyd Brown Music. Now, within the three months, the last three months that I've been rebranding my social media and indeed rebranding my YouTube channel, the one consistent factor of my social media that has been somewhat neglected has been my vlog series. And by last count, I think the last episode I've done was season six, episode 18. But I like to tie up loose ends wherever possible. That's just me. I just like being a perfectionist. What can I tell you? So without further ado, I'm going to wrap up season six and give you the finale. Season six, episode 19 of my vlog series. Run the titles. Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. Now, I don't want anybody to think that my vlog series have basically gone in the dustbin. It's just that I wanted to take the channel and put it in a different direction. So it kind of appeals to many different people because I know a lot of people watch a lot of my tutorials, just the process of making the music and watching me waffle on and on and on and on and on about different subjects that relates to music and life. So I don't want people to think that the vlog is gone anyway. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's just kind of parked one side. I've had a lot of people give me a lot of positive feedback in relation to my vlogs. I've had even some of my peers, I had one peer in particular say to me, Lloyd, love the vlog, you know, me never know, say you're funny, you know. And I'm thinking, as opposed to what, me being a miserable old git, I'm just who I am. But then again, my exes will probably tell you a whole lot different. That's another video, that's another channel. So, um, the vlogs are basically coming back. In this season finale, fun and joke aside, I need to take the time out to thank the Most High. I want to thank the Most High for giving me health and strength. It beats the alternative, what can I tell you? I have my health, I have my strength, I have my faculties. I have 31 of my 32 teeth. <laughs> So there's reasons to be cheerful, right? Yeah, I'm just here doing what I need to do. And next, I want to thank PRS, Performing Rights Society, who have been very, very benevolent in terms of their um, coronavirus help fund. I can't remember the actual terminology of the, the fund raising head up, but they've been very, very helpful in terms of um, funding myself as well as many other musicians that are in need of little extra assistance in terms of um, some income coming in because if you're not the Hamiltons or the Les Miserables of the world that can basically just, you know, kick back a little while, then you're, you're in some kind of problems. And I know that people of all different industries and all different backgrounds have their own relative problems. I'm not just saying one is greater than the other, but we all have our relative um, setbacks that we are facing amidst this whole thing and it's just not going to get better right about now it's going to get worse before it gets better it's just the fact that the sun is shining and the pardon the pun we're kind of taking a different kind of heat you know what i'm saying a heat that we enjoy but once the autumn months come in and the winter months come in we're just going to be facing a recession the likes we've never seen for this generation let's just say anyway i just want to basically thank the prs for being supportive in in their benevolence in granting funds to myself and other musicians that ordinarily would be getting by on the funds they would normally get anyway but in this situation not having no music venues to perform in to kind of you know garner some extra income to oil the cogs in the machine of the music making business um it's it's difficult anyway i'm kind of waffling on but thank you prs thank you for that um next up i want to thank my brethren kennedy mensa even though i know i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it in the jugular yeah we won the fa cup a record 17 times blah 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 how many times you won the fa cup spurs hey hey that's all I'm going to get. But you know what? Save it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Talking shop, I want to thank um, Kennedy Mensa from Back to the Future Publishing just for just making sure that everything is basically legit and liaising with the people that have queries in relation to 
the work that I basically do because I like to keep things legit, you know what I mean? I don't want people to feel, say, yeah, me, I rub them of this, I mean, I rub them of that. Sometimes people make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, the decimal point is in the wrong place. You know what I'm saying? It's not willful. And look, look at where I'm living. You're not basically improving my lifestyle in that regard. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no Lamborghinis out of road. You know, <laughs> it's, it's what it is. But Bridget, I want to thank you. Thank you for taking on the administration and just taking stuff off my head so that I can deal with the important business of making music. So I want to thank you for that. Next up, I want to thank Jetstar Music and Phoenix Music International for just, for just being the great company that they are um, in terms of just distributing my material, working with me in terms of the marketing of my material, etc., etc., etc. I want to thank everyone, everyone, everyone in um, both companies. And um, most importantly, I want to thank Carolyn, my accountant. You know, I want to thank her for just being there at the other end of the phone, just letting me know, okay, well, you know, your distributions are going to be this, this month, that month is this month, this, this amount. Do you want us to give you all of it? Do you want to save some of it? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It's nice to have an accountant that you can have a nice rapport with and you can work things out to kind of pace yourself through the rainy times, the COVID-19 times, as it were. So I want to thank you for that. Those are the main people I want to thank. And last but no means least, I want to take the opportunity in thanking you, you, the music lovers, you, the music buying public that appreciate love the music that I put out. Just those who appreciate love the content that I'm basically putting out. You know, it's it's nice to know that the feedback that I get from you has been warmly received and it's fully embracing what I do, you know? So I want to thank you for that. In my chill out time, I was um, taking time out to watch I Am Bolt, which is basically a documentary about Usain Bolt and him striving to earn himself, I think it's three gold medals in three, three consecutive Olympic games. I can't, I can't remember the permutation, but history will basically correct me. I was watching that and I saw a clip where he, he sat down and he said, and I'm paraphrasing here when I, when I say this, he was saying, you know, even though I've reached the pinnacle of my career, even though I'm still doing what I'm doing, I find it very hard to motivate myself or I find it hard to be motivated. And I looked at him and I thought, you know what? I thought it was just me because people think it's kind of mad or easy for me just to make albums every year. It is to a point, but then when you're used to basically working to a standard within the consistency that you're basically making music, there comes a time where it's like, I don't even want to see a microphone. I don't want to see a microphone. I don't even want to hear music right about now. And I know it's kind of weird to say, but it is what happens. And I thought, well, am I an unknown quantity or something? You know, is it just me? And when I see people like Usain Bolt give reference to that kind of feeling within his field, then it kind of relaxes me in thinking, well, all right, it happens to the best of us. And the reason why I'm saying that is that in order for me to be motivated, I have been looking at a lot of young people in my field of work, in the music production business, doing what they're doing. And they're not doing it to a standard where, you know, they're just trying a thing. They're just doing it to a standard of not mediocre, right? That's how they're basically flexing. It's tiring to see the boundless energy but boundless energy it is, and it's somewhat inspiring. It all has a conducive effect to the creative process of artisans, right? It works in this sense where I see that, I get inspired by that, I bring my content to you with that inspiration. And then in turn, someone else gets inspired by what I do, i.e., let's just say, my tutorials how to basically produce music, how I put the secret sauce, as it were, in some of my productions. And then I have people who are inspired by that. And then they say to me, Lloyd, I love what, what you're doing. Here's some of my material. Let me know what you think. And I get that all the time. I get it all, all the time. Some stuff are not bad, you know. I say to them, well, yeah, I like this, but I think it needs a little bit more of that and less of this, and yada, yada, yada. 
And then there are some that just basically just blows me away. And in this situation, um, this is where another one of my thanks is coming in. I want to thank Justin. Um, he is a producer that is based in Rotterdam. And um, I've given mention to him a couple of times before. But I want to kind of encapsulate all my thanks in this one video to all of the people that have kind of kept me going within this period of time, which is very uncertain to say the least. And Justin just basically brought a whole fresh perspective on music, on music. Not to say that what he was doing, I've not tapped in before, but is realizing, well, if I'm inspiring him to do what he's basically doing and he's vibing off what I'm bringing out there, then it only makes sense for me and him to collaborate in some kind of way. And originally it was supposed to be like a couple of a couple of projects and then it just turned out to be the album, the untitled album. So I want to thank him for being a part of this project. I want to thank him for being a part of this process. Having said that, I'm getting ready to voice one of the tracks that we've worked on together and the track is called Schizophonic. Make of that as you will. But yeah, that's one of the tracks for the untitled album. Hence the mic being here. I wanted to kind of like just be more closer to the equipment this time around because let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, some people think the life of a music producer is so fabulous. It can be very laborious, especially when you've got to press the send button and get the pre-roll going. And in the time of the pre-roll, you've got to get in there, put your headphones on and basically just center yourself to the microphone and just drop the vocals like it's hot. It's not an easy process. And sometimes that can lead to mishaps and accidents like tripping over mic cables and stuff like that. Anyway, that's another story. <laughs> so I decided to basically voice it in here because the room is basically treated okay. It's not bad, you know. There's no reverb or anything bouncing off the walls because I've got pictures and, you know, sofas and cushions and stuff. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's diffusing the sound very nicely. But anyway, that's just technical talk. But anyway, I just want to just finish off the season by giving my thanks to the people concerned throughout this period of my life and my career. So is with that, I want to close off this season, this episode, and thank all of you that have been watching and supporting my channel across all my social media outlets. And you done know the coup already, people. Please, my beg you, abstain from foolishness, even your own, even my own. If I'm displaying foolishness, abstain from me, man. Simple as. But until we link up again on the next exciting installment of Lloyd Brown Music, people stay blessed. I'm out of here. Magansky, laters. Abstain from foolishness.